good enough. The King of the Aki, King Finity Darts Review begins right now. Hey, what's up guys, Worldwide here. We have a great video for you today and I'll tell you what, I have quickly become a fan of all the King of the Aki darts. I've reviewed a few so far already and man, they do not disappoint time and time again. I really like these darts. But yeah, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a close up look at the King of the Aki, King Finity darts. And uh, yeah, I really love this black and gold coating. Excellent set of darts. So as always, I picked these up at Dart Shopper in the Netherlands. Incredibly fast shipping from these guys to the United States. It's absolutely unbelievable. The shipping's right around $10, eight or $10. And you get your products or you get whatever you ordered probably in just a few days. Normally here to the East Coast, USA, about two or three days, usually right around that time frame. So yeah, incredibly quick shipping, affordable as well. And speaking of affordable, I think these are reasonably priced right around 41 US dollars, which yeah, I think that's a decent deal for a 90% tungsten set of darts here. Plus you got a bunch of extra goodies as you're about to see. So yeah, let's grab the other camera. We'll take a close up look at these things. I'll show you what they come with. And then my favorite part of the video, I'm gonna take them to the board. I'll throw them for a few turns. And while I'm doing that, I'll let you know what I think of the King of the Aki, King Finity Darts. So yeah, here we go guys, should be a good one. Okay, let me show you what your 41 US dollars gets you. So first of all, everything comes inside this compact cardboard hang case. And inside we've got the King of the Aki wallet. And then check this out guys, I really like this. We've got two, not one, but two sets of extra stems and flights, which is nice. You know, there's not too many companies nowadays including extra stems and flights. And then of course, we have our beautiful gold and black coated, not painted, gold and black coated barrels, King Finity barrels. Beautiful in person. So what do you say we get a little bit closer look at these things and we'll run down some stats and dimensions. Okay, there we go. A little bit closer look at these darts here. And man, I really hope the camera is showing off just how beautiful these barrels are with the gold and black coating. Man, what a great looking dart in my opinion. But on the back end here, we have some medium length King Grip nylon stems. And going even further back, we've got the King of the Aki logo standard size flights. We're writing down some stats and dimensions. These are a 90% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in at 51.6 millimeters long. And the barrel width, with these being a straight barrel dart, 6.7 millimeters wide. And I think on the website it says 6.8, but I double checked everything. 6.7 millimeters wide on my digital calipers. Now check this out, guys. This is incredible. The match weighting, these were advertised as 24 grams. I put the first barrel on the scale, 24.23 grams. The other two barrels, 24.24 grams. So yeah, are you kidding me? Only one one hundredth of a gram off. Just some absolutely incredible machining. The uh, match weighting, the quality control. Man, that's just about as good as it gets. Almost perfect match weighting. But what do you say? We get a little bit closer look at these barrels and I'll talk about the grip. Okay, so you probably already got a close enough look when I did the stats and dimensions. But yeah, let's talk about the grip here. If you notice, we have these very fine multi-rings running the entire length, well, almost the entire length of the barrel, right up to this smooth section on the back end. And you know what? These fine multi-rings, they have quite a bit of bite to them. So yeah, this dart offers, or this barrel offers a lot of grip. I'm gonna go ahead and say level three and a half grip on a scale of one to five. And you know what? One kind of negative feature, maybe I'm nitpicking here, but you see the smooth section with the King of the Aki logo. It almost looks like the stem's loose, right? Because we have this gap there, but that's not where the barrel ends. That's where the barrel ends. So we've got this one multi-ring right behind the logo on the smooth section. Not that it's a huge deal, but I don't know. To me, it kind of looks like, doesn't it look like the stem's loose there? <laughs> anyway, but yeah, on the front end, we've got this nice tapered nose cone, but here's the problem. Monster lip where the point meets the barrel, but yeah, you guys know how we do on this channel. We'll add some Trident 180 nose cone that's gonna eliminate that lip and your flights will definitely thank you because they're gonna last way, way longer. But yeah, what do you say we get these things on the board? I'm gonna add the Trident 180 nose cones and I'll be throwing them just like you see them here, completely stock. So yeah, let's get these things on the board. Give them a rip, here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's have a few throws with the King Finity darts 
You know, hey, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but way back in the day when I first started playing darts, I started with a 24 gram barrel. So for whatever reason, 24 grams always feels comfortable for me. Maybe it's like old muscle memory, I have no idea. But even in that last video, the V180 darts, um, the Brian Woods, man, I was throwing lights out with those and during warmups, these are feeling pretty good as well. So we'll see how this goes. Love the grip on these things though. It's just super consistent. Oh, hold on a second. No. Yeah. Pre-boom, we'll take that. But yeah, what I was saying with the grip is it's just super consistent from the nose cone all the way to that smooth section in the rear. So it's gonna work well for front grippers, middle grippers, and as long as you don't go too far back, it'll even work for rear grippers as well. Um, me personally, I'm, I guess my point of finger and thumb, not sure well, you won't be able to see that, but point of finger and thumb kind of splits the, where the gold, uh, the gold coating ends and the black coating starts. So kind of, man, kind of, not quite in the middle of the barrel, just backwards a little bit. Anyway, man, I've been hitting the 180s with these things too, even in warmups, they were going in pretty good. Huh? Oh, 140 just went high with that last dart. And had that gone in, we most certainly would have been going for the fake nine darter, the 141. But yeah, I mean, to be honest, I've got nothing but good things to say about King of the Aki darts. I'm not quite sure who makes them, to be honest with you, but man, the, um, it seems like every one that I review, the match weighting is spot on or like really close. I thought these were pretty amazing. Only one one hundredth of a gram off. Man, you don't really see that too often, no matter how much the dart costs. So yeah, the machining on these things always, I think is excellent. So they're a little more expensive than your typical, you know, bargain basement type darts that I review, but nonetheless, I still think $40, $41 is a pretty good deal. And uh, as you see, I have absolutely no complaints how they're flying. Just a, just a great multi-ring dart. Uh, the only, I guess the only negative though, they only come in 24 grams. As far as I'm aware, I'd like to see them in a few different weights. So last throw here. Oh no, come on, cover shot. <laughs> oh, it was all going so well. A three, a five, and a five. That'd be a 13. We gotta go one more time, that one hurt. Uh, you get excited, you're throwing well, and um, yeah, that happens. Hey, there we go, maybe I can save it with the last. <laughs> We'll take that a little 134 to wrap things up with. Hopefully bumps the average back up. Although, you know, that's not a big deal. I don't really pay too much attention to the average. Just kind of, kind of an indication of how well these darts work for me personally. Sometimes, sometimes they work well, sometimes they don't. Actually, sometimes I really like the darts and uh, can't really throw them well, but man, wow. These were going spot on again. Same with the last review, 24 grams. I may have to reconsider my uh, match weight to be totally honest with you guys and uh, i do have a custom set of darts coming up kind of soon so anyway guys there it was a couple five now six turns with the kingfinity darts however we do have one more clip for you and it looked a whole heck of a lot like that first turn so hope you enjoy it I think that's in. Is that? Boom, get in there. I wasn't sure if that second dart was in, but it was. Sometimes those black points are hard to see in the board. There's the third, and of course the first. So whew, all right. I will definitely take that. I've been recording, in case you're wondering, a minute 55, 56, 57. So hey, that was a pretty quick 
180 and I'll take it because yeah, my leg is kind of acting up today, not feeling too good, but hey, there it is guys. Oh, hey, before I forget, close up 180 replay. So there you go, kind of a nice little feature there. But um, yeah, there we go, the Kodo King Infinity Darts. I had a blast playing with these things. Great set of darts at what I think is a fairly reasonable price as well. Link down in the pinned comment in case you want to check them out and make sure you check out the rest of the King of the Aki darts because they just came out with a whole bunch of new darts. So I don't know, I think they have like 10, 11, 12 different models, something like that. So the line is definitely expanding and I look forward to seeing what other King of the Aki darts they come up with in the future. But there it is, guys. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Hey, thumbs up. Always appreciated here. So hey, go ahead and hit the thumbs up or the like or whatever you want to call it. It's free. And uh, yeah, I do appreciate it. So until next time, guys, we will see you on the next video. Later.